A Queensland airline could become the first in the world to achieve carbon neutrality thanks to the planned introduction of hydrogen electric powered aircraft to its fleet. Skytrans, co-owned by NRL legend Jonathan Thurston, plans for just water vapour to be the only emission during a short one-hour flight or thereabouts from Brisbane to Gladstone. Joining us live now from Kansas, Skytrans Airlines Chief Executive Alan Milne. Alan, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. So just uh, elaborate on this. How's it going to work? Oh, Pete, it's a fantastic story. Uh, we've been in collaboration with Stralis Aircraft, an Australian-based, in fact, Brisbane-based um, aircraft manufacturer. We will be modifying a Beach 1900 aircraft, taking out its fossil fuel-powered engine and putting in an electric motor. Now, now, that electric motor will be powered by a hydrogen fuel cell in the back of the aircraft. And exactly as you mentioned, Pete, the only emissions coming out of that exhaust pipe will be water vapour. So it's just the one, just... one flight out, uh, not the entire fleet? Uh, so this, that's the start. Um, right. Stralis had the first aircraft, uh, the first base aircraft, to get into the air next year. And then Skytrans is aiming to start that commercial service between Brisbane and Gladstone in, in uh, 2026. OK. Which... In technology terms, is not that far away, considering where you know where we have to go with the uh, the airline industry. Now, Al, you know I'm afraid of flying. Should I be concerned about this? So, as as you also know, Pete, the Australian uh, legislative framework around aviation safety is some of the some of the best in the world. Uh, so, of course, the manufacturer of this aircraft, the modification will need to be carried out within that yeah. legislative structure. So, you're absolutely guaranteed it will be as safe as any other. Australian aeroplane in the skies today. OK, so, I mean, as a backup, though, do you need to have fossil fuels on board, regular fuel, in case something were to happen? No, it, it will carry the, um, the backup systems that most, you know, current aircraft have as well. So if there's critical systems, a critical control unit, for example, then invariably you have two. So if one of them fails, the other one automatically takes over. And, it, and in the most critical situations, you possibly have three. So it's going to have the same redundancy that, that current aircraft designs will have so, okay. uh, as safe. All right. So you mentioned this is just a start and, and eventually what the, the whole fleet will, will have this system in place. So where will you be flying to with this in place? Yeah, Pete, that's a really, really good point because Skytrans based in, in uh, Cairns, we actually fly most of our network to the north, so up to the Cape, the Gulf, uh, the Torres Strait. So... It's an environment that just lends itself to emission-free aviation, and that is absolutely our plan, uh, to work with the Stralis guys uh, for bigger and better aeroplanes with longer range uh, that will, you know, that will enable us to do that. So, yeah, I mean, you, you've spent a lot of time with Qantas, Al. I mean, would this, is this something that you envisage um, all airlines eventually moving to way down the track? Yeah, but that's absolutely the case, Pete. It's, the technology is not there yet for the long haul aeroplanes. Uh, you know, Qantas has uh, you know recently announced their uh, their investment in the sustainable aviation fuel area. Now that's yeah. that's pretty much all they've got at the moment. But I think as this technology grows uh, and we stretch the legs on the aeroplane and get longer and longer range, then eventually we will get there. So yeah, I absolutely okay. think that's where we're going. How does JT feel about all this? Mate, JT is such a supporter of this. As a as a co-owner of Skytrans, he uh, he said yesterday, I thought it was a fantastic line. He said he's got four daughters and he wants to leave the world a better place than than when he first got here for his you know for his daughters. And this is a really really good way of doing it. All right, there you go, Al Milne. Uh, in my old hood of Cairns, how's the weather this morning, Al? Mate, you can see it's okay. beautiful. Winter, winter's day in Cairns. It's a good, it's a good, it's the best place in the world to be in winter, I have to say. Uh, summer, she's tough. Al Milne, <laughs> good to see you. Uh, thanks for your time. Still beautiful in summer, just very hot, folks. Talk to you soon, Al.